Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back for week 17 of the 2018 Photography Challenge. This week's prompt explores the concept of imitation, so what better way to emulate a local photographer than to perform some Detroit photography? So the artist that I ended up emulating, his name is Gary Washington. He was born in Detroit, and he grew up in Pontiac, Michigan. His inspiration for photography began when uh, opportunity struck through an offer to work abroad for a few months. Um, according to his bio on his website, he thought this would be a perfect opportunity to buy a nice camera like his older brother did, and he didn't even realize that a passion for photography would grow out of the experience. Gary Washington typically shoots architecture, landscapes, and anything else that catches his eye with an expansive portfolio of work that captures various cultures abroad. And in Washington's portfolio, he has numerous landscape and architecture photos, with his color style varying from vibrant to grayscale. What ended up catching my eye and what made me want to choose him as the photographer that I wanted to emulate for this week's photography challenge was uh, one of his pace, I'm sorry, one of his pieces that was painted on a wall in the Renaissance Center in Detroit. It was shot in grayscale with the transcending monument at the forefront of the competition. And for anyone who's not from Detroit, the tran I'm sorry, transcending is a monument that's dedicated to the labor movement in Michigan. It's comprised of two steel beams weighing about 30 tons affixed to meet in the center at the top of the monument. And you can kind of see it here in this photo. Um, and the gap is there to symbolize that the, uh, the work isn't finished and there's still a lot that needs to be done in the movement. And what I found really cool was that uh, the symbolism in this photo, I found it to be pretty striking, especially with the Renaissance Center in the background of the composition and the uh, American flag waving in the wind. So for this week's challenge, I decided to recreate the composition based on another photo that Washington shot for a photo contest held by the Renaissance Center. And I ended up standing in about the exact same spot, I'm pretty sure, um, that he had for, uh, you know, the photo that he shot for the contest. And while I recreated the composition, I decided to add my own flair to the photo in post-editing that contrasts Washington's urban grayscale photography style. And just before we jump into it, I actually did, so, I'm sorry, I ended up unsubscribing from my uh, Adobe Creative Cloud subscription and I ended up deciding to purchase what is known as Luminar which is a, another fo photo editing alternative kind of similar to Adobe Lightroom and I'm actually really happy with uh, this program so far I haven't used it too much but it's a little new to me so if things are uh, you know a little out of place or I'm kind of stumbling around to find something that's why but anyway um, I chose one of the filters that they have preset here. I ended up going with the, uh, the clarity booster. And out of that, all I did was boosted the contrast up a little bit to, uh, plus 30. And then I also, uh, increased, actually, I only increased, uh, the contrast out of everything. Out of that, at least. Two cool things that I ended up adding as well to the photo and what's cool with this program is that there's a bunch of different filters that you can kind of tack on. One of the filters that I added was the golden hour filter. And what this does is it makes it look as though you shot during golden hour or sunset. So I ended up adding that there. And then I also included um, another feature that's uh, part of the program called sun rays. So basically kind of has this sunburst effect added to the photo which is really cool I moved it over on the x-axis to 100 here and then I also moved it up a little bit on the y-axis so it kind of has that sunburst effect going down here and it kind of matches with the shadows it's obviously the sun's up here the shadows wouldn't be down here and then in terms of selective color editing with the saturation. I didn't do anything super crazy. 
all I did was reduce the yellow saturation down negative 100 to get rid of that look in the trees. And then I increased the green saturation to 100 here. And also increased the blue saturation to 55 for the sky. And one other cool thing that, you know, I think is really neat about this program is that you can kind of see the before and after with the click of the button here. And you can also have it split screened. So you have a slider that can show you the before and the after for the photo. So again, here's the, the before, after. And it's quite the stark contrast compared to Gary Washington's grayscale. But I personally prefer to have my own little touch to the photo. Um, but yeah, that's all I pretty much have for this week's photography challenge. Um, if you haven't already, be sure to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you for next week's 2018 photography challenge.